Hello guys, Tyler from Texture Way again, and it's yet again another video. Um, as you can tell, we're trying to get back into making these videos as soon as we can and as quick as we can. Um, today I was approached by Jonathan89 in the chat room, uh, a good fellow friend of Texture Way and past shows we've done. Um, he's been in almost every time we stream, he's always here for us. Um, so we appreciate him supporting us, and he came to me today um, for help. So we're gonna try to help him obviously and do our best knowledge the problem that he's having is on a startup his keyboard and mouse does not work and uh, of course today we're gonna go through the problems and things that could happen and you know solutions and steps to try to fix this um, according to everybody out there real quick before we get into the show um, so everybody knows we do have a new segment that we're introducing to the show, and it's going to be in part of our shows. You've seen in the past, BBC TS Cast, um, where we did you know hour-long shows and we had segments within one another. Well, we're kind of doing it the same way, except for this time we're actually going to have a viewer call-in questions, where viewers can call us on Skype and ask us questions live on air at the time of this being recorded, and um, and obviously interact through a chat room with us, and we'll do our best to knowledge to try to help you guys, and at the same time help people out there. So, without further ado, let's begin the uh, questions. Alright. So, he had called me today on Skype, or I had called him, and we had talked about problems that he's been facing. Um, currently, he's on a laptop, which, you know, is alternative if your keyboard and mouse go out on you and you do not know what to do. Um, but he uses a USB mouse and a keyboard that has the pin connectors, um, the serial pins. I believe that it has nine pins in them. Uh, but they go into the you know green and purple um, would be the colors for those type of pins and the USB obviously you guys would know what a USB port is I'd hope um, if not then just look and you'll see a USB or it'll say USB um, but anyways what happened was we were you know looking at the problem that you're facing right now the mouse actually could be fixed by trying to plug it into and the to another USB port always try that always try plugging into another USB port I mean that's the best solution that you could probably do um, you know if, if it doesn't work on the first setup then uh, you know shut it down unplug the port and plug it into a different one and keep trying until you can find one that works um, it possibly could be that just that USB port does not work anymore and that does happen a lot in computers a lot of times if you use too if you use it too much then they can just they'll stop working eventually um, you can always try buying a uh, another internal or an external USB hub or port that you can install yourself and that possibly could solve your problem but that can kinda be time consuming if you don't have the time to do that um, I know a lot of the new keyboards that came out here to just recently they have an actually where you can connect it it's a USB but it has a uh, changer where you can put it into a serial port connector or not a serial port but a pin connector and you may actually have to do that um, that occasionally can help you solve any issues you have with that. Um, now your keyboard on the other hand, a lot of times what can happen is your Windows system files that stores your keyboard in your mouse files can actually be damaged by a virus, a trojan, things like that. Um, or just out of blue it can just vanish. You may have accidentally deleted it or you know changed the file name. Um, that can actually cause your mouse and keyboard to stop working. <laughs> So, um, it does sound like what you're having right now, Jonathan, uh, for watching this video, it sounds like you have a damage to your Windows system file. Um, if you're able to, uh, when you boot up your computer, if it gives you a chance to do a last good configuration, last known good configuration, select that. By doing so, it's at least going to allow you to go back and it'll try to use the best, you know, config it can find that you used. And that actually could solve your keyboard problem right there. Um, I know I've done that in the past. I've had many times working on computers. You know, that's some of the things that you may have to do to help it. So, you know, that's something I'd look into. Um, I know necessarily it may not work, but it, what you need to do is if there is a way, go into safe mode, go to device manager, right click on that. And from there, you should see something like uh, my computer. You know, you want to go all the way to properties, and then you want to go to hardware. Um, 
after you get to hardware, you want to go to your device manager. And when you get to the device manager, try to find your mouse and your keyboard and your device manager and hardware. And if you can do so, you can actually end or remove them. And what happens is, of course, it's going to remove your mouse and your keyboard off your computer. However, it possibly could help you. Because at the same time, all you'd have to do is unplug, replug, and it actually should redetect itself and automatically start working. Um, of course, Jonathan, if this does not help you at all today, um, you know, you can come back and ask again. We'll reshoot this show again and, you know, keep going and Gilby can help people. But this is a solution step to fix a problem like this with your keyboard and mouse not working properly. Um, and before people are like, well, you know, he should have tried it on another computer. It's not the mouse. It's not the keyboard. He said he tried to plug the mouse and keyboard into another computer and it worked fine. So, with that being said... It would have to be a, win a Windows system file that had been damaged that th that contains your mouse and your keyboard. So I check that out, Jonathan. You know, and get back to us and comment and uh, comment. Obviously, this show when it's posted on our YouTube, so you know people out there can see if it actually worked or not. So there you go, Jonathan. I hope that helps. Um, real quick, we're gonna do a shout out to Jonathan because he did one for us. Um, so everybody out there, check out Jonathan eighty nine show. You can go to www.youtube.com forward slash Jonathan, and that's J O H N A T H O N 8909, or you go to his website at Jonathan8909.do.am, and that's D O dot A M. Um, you can go there and you can obviously check out you know, his website and you know, possibly see the video he did about us. Um, it was something to do. He's, I know he's getting to the uh, tech stuff and he likes that a lot and uh, we want to support him behind that and hope the best for him as well so rate, comment, subscribe his videos if you could um, and also be sure to rate, comment, subscribe this video and other videos of you know World of Tech slash Tech Your Way um, we want to do the best to help you guys out there um, so that's going to be it today uh, like I said if you guys have problems you can come into our chat room we're usually on 24-7 or you can email us you can email us or Skype us. Skype name is KR Productions. Um, I'm always on that. And if you want to email us, you can email me at Tyler at TechYourWay.com. I answer my emails. If I don't answer or reply back, guys, I read them, check, you know, I check them daily. So just ask the questions, and you know, you may just be on air with us one day. Um, and real quick, before we end this, yes, guys, it is pixelated. I know this, you don't have to inform me, I know it's pixelated, I'm sorry about it, I can't do much about it besides buying another webcam, but seeing that this is actually serving a purpose, and people out there are going to tell me to use you know, better things than uploads on YouTube, I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to go out and buy another webcam, I have one, I'm just not going to use it because it has issues streaming live, and well I want to stream live. So till then guys, that's it from Tech Your Way, this is Tyler, and everybody get plugged in.